While you checked out Motorola's new phones, you may have missed the grocery store ad of our dreams, the first time pollution has been turned to rock, and the tank no one has to get into to freak everyone out. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where the future means adapting like this tattoo artist who turned his prosthesis into the raddest steampunk tool ever. I got your first taker right here. On it. Scary Charlize. Israel Aerospace Industries, basically the Stark Industries of the country, has a new combat robot that is not fooling around. It's called Row Battle and is made of modular pieces. Go, go, go. So it can be switched out for either advanced guard missions or surveillance. It can use either wheels or tracks and be equipped with robotic arms or straight up remote controlled weapons. That made me uncomfortable. Drum roll please! In the first ever use case of this thing environmental scientists have been talking about forever, please check out this amazing rock. This beautiful rock basically reacts with carbon dioxide and then converts the carbon dioxide to this type of rock, this white stuff. Here's another slide. Not as simple as it looks, this was regular old pollutant carbon from emissions at a power plant in Iceland. But scientists pumped that air underground, waited a few months, and it chemically turned to rock. Just rock. It all happened under a pilot project by CarbFix. Some of those scientists trying to save us from ourselves. It's cool, because turns out waiting for a hero probably will not work out. Captain Planet, he's a hero. Do, 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 he's a hero. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading. Wait, wait, we screwed up big time. We forgot to show you the cat grocery shopping video. Where were we? The internets rose up to demand justice for a rape victim after her attacker received a light jail sentence. Samsung unveiled its Galaxy S7 variant with a massive 4,000 milliamp hours battery pack. A Florida man will spend the next four years in prison for his online credit card scam, wherein he bought and resold 755 Vitamix blenders. Apple's App Store is changing its subscription service. PayPal has refused to refund a Twitch troll's $50,000 donation. And Google's Larry Page is reportedly developing a flying car. Come on, Jetson's future, I need that makeup machine. 